Welcome back to the corner of the internet, also known as my booktube channel, where I've been slacking, and I must apologize. Let's wear the hat, shall we? It's nearly Christmas, and in the theme of holidays, let's go ahead and kick back, relax. I don't have a fire or a pipe or whiskey or anything, so it's not that special. But I do have some books. So, part of this book haul, I'm just going to post on the screen because I just made a nice book depository order the other day. And I'm going to share it with you. <laughs> Seeing as I just started The Witcher Season 2, which two episodes in is fantastic. Uh, much more invested in that so far than I am in The Wheel of Time, which has been kind of up and down for me. But... Uh, Book Depository is actually doing a a nice sale, it seems, on Terry Pratchett Discworld novels and the hardcovers as well, which normally they're $25 a piece. They're actually $15 right now, so I got a few of those. So I'm actually getting, I'm going to continue on with the Death Books and the Watch Books. So I ordered Soul Music, Men at Arms, Feet of Clay, Jingo, and then also because I started watching Witcher and I got into it, and I was fondly remembering, fondly, uh, The Last Wish, which is the only Witcher novel that I've read, which is a collection of short stories. I went ahead and ordered Sword of Destiny and Blood of Elves. So I've always been told that it's kind of up and down when you get to the main series, that the short stories are great, and the main series is hit or miss. Uh, I've heard a lot of negativity around it, but I am interested enough to see what it has to offer, because pretty much my Witcher knowledge stops at The Last Wish and the video games, whether it be Thronebreaker or Witcher 1, 2, and 3. But those are all after the novels, and Thronebreaker takes place before the novels and before Geralt, so who knows? Looking forward to it. I am definitely going to read some Witcher uh, in 2022, but the, that's just everything that I ordered. It's book depository, so it's probably going to take like two or three weeks to get here. That's why I'm just mentioning it now rather than including it in a haul later, but I'll probably show it off again. So just contradicting myself. Moving on. Uh, some of my patrons sent me some incredible stuff. So Dalton, my man, uh, saw that I had book one of Liza Locke Lamora in this awesome hardcover where the, the cover is right on the, <laughs> the artwork is right on the cover. God, I can't talk. So he went ahead and sent me Red Seas, Under Red Skies, and The Republic of Thieves. So I do have the, I'm going to call it a trilogy now. It's not a trilogy. There's, I think, going to be five books, but Scott Lynch is kind of on a hiatus because of several personal matters that this series might join the ranks of Rothfuss and George R. R. Martin of never completing them. Um, it does seem now that Rothfuss is actually going to deliver Doors of Stone, so maybe. And Gurm, hopefully, gives us at least wins a winner. But here's another series that who knows when it'll be finished, but I am going to read it. I have no excuse now. I do own all three that are currently published, so looking forward to it. And I just, I love these editions. They're just, I love them. It's like the perfect kind of hardcover. Like Moid always says, like this, a, a mass market sized hardcover is awesome. So I totally agree there. And we're continuing the expanse. I did just finish um, Abaddon's Gate. And I'm looking for more of the hardcovers to complete the series. So he sent me Cybola Burn, Cabola, Cybola. I'm going to say Cibola, Kybola, Cabola, Sibola. <laughs> Book four of the Expanse. Uh, I'm just going to get them all in hardcover. I am genuinely, genuinely loving this series so far. Abaddon's Gate was, I believe I said, my favorite of the three so far. Uh, just ahead of Leviathan Wakes. And I'm looking forward to continue because, like I said, when I did my uh, November wrap-up, I like that you're still continuing with Holden and his crew, but you're getting introduced to so many other characters. Now, I do have a wish that some return that are absent from some of the books, and I hope that we get some more mainstays throughout the series, but it does seem like we're going to get a, a slew of new characters each time. And it, that's kind of like a good thing and a bad thing for me because I do like following a, a set cast of characters through an entire series, but you're pretty much getting that with Holden and his crew. 
So it's interesting that you're getting new POVs every single time because you're not just seeing the world through, you know, these five people. You're seeing the world through multiple people and whether they're, you know, super impactful to the world or not. Like Anna in book three, she's really impactful to that story, but who knows if she's going to play really any role moving forward because of the kind of character that she is. So it's just a really interesting concept to introduce new characters every time. Um, it basically gives you just a whole new perspective on the world. So that's super cool. I definitely recommend this if you like soap. So I was about to say soap operas. If you like space operas, The Expanse is dope. All right, so this one from Hillary, one of my other patrons, she subscribes to, I believe it's Illumicrate, right? Is it Illumicrate? We'll find out. Uh, which I do not. So I don't actually get any of these editions. I think the one time I tried to get one was for Red Rising. But because I wasn't like a, I wasn't subscribed to it, I couldn't actually get it. So then when I tried to subscribe to get it, they were sold out. Um, but they, they do all sorts of special editions. And she messaged me on Discord and said, hey, do you like the Greenbone Saga? I was like, well, I haven't even read it, but I do own uh, Jade City. So she found herself an extra copy of all three of these from Illumicrate, which is freaking awesome. Thank you for sending them to me. So it looks like you get some Jade City pins in here, which is cool. I've never opened one of these uh, boxes before, so it's pretty sweet. I guess this is gonna say like everything that you get. A bookmark set, pins, and a souvenir plate set. Okay, so I think that's what this is. So the Twice Lucky Jan Loon souvenir plate set. That's pretty nifty. Interesting. Those look pretty cool. There's some squids on that one. It's it's literally a plate. I'm talking literal plates here. And there you go. Some like balloons or something. All right, so let's actually get to the books, shall we? Because this is what people care about. Oh, look. See, now, obviously, it's because you pay top dollar for this stuff, but uh, Amazon should take some hints to actually at least like do some kind of wrapping of your books when you send them because as much as I love these, when you order hardcovers that don't have like a, a dust jacket on it, they don't even wrap it. They just throw the shit in the box and then you get it and it gets all scuffed up and it's just like, come on guys, you're paying full price for, for a new book. Like you should at least just bubble wrap it or put some paper around it, do something. I think this is Jade War. Is this book three? That's Jade War. Oh, look, there's some bookmarks. Holy shit. I don't know who any of these people are. I guess I'm going to find out, though. But there you go. Now we got five bookmarks of the Greenbone Saga. All right, so there's Jade Legacy. Jade War is book two. I don't remember. I only have book one. Is that everything? Be gone. All right, so we have Jade City up first. Let's see what they look like. I'm assuming they're just going to be like all consistent and pretty. They're going to look really nice on the shelves. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It's so green and shiny. It's gorgeous. And again, it's perfect. It's the it's just right on the hardcover. Got some nice sprayed edges of some swords or daggers. It's nice and crisp and high quality. That's sick. So there's Jade City. I might have done this out of order. Jade Legacy. I feel like Legacy would be book three, right? Jade War is definitely book two gotta be yeah because jade legacy is the new one and i am 100 percent reading these uh, i was going to read jade city this year i got it a couple months ago and it just it didn't pan out but i'm definitely going to read it next year i love a short i mean the books aren't necessarily short but a short fantasy trilogy as opposed to you know a 10 book epic anything like that and it's totally outside of the style of fantasy that i'm used to reading because it's like more like almost mafia based and it's not um 
It doesn't sound like it's super high fantasy. There's like warring crime families almost. I, I don't know a whole lot about like how the magic works or anything like that, but I've heard nothing but rave reviews about the series. And holy shit, Hillary, the fact that you sent these to me is super awesome, incredibly badass. They're gorgeous. I'll put a picture of them here up on my shelves. Wow, these look super, super cool. So there's the book haul. So I've got the entire Greenbone Saga now in this gorgeous set, which is awesome. Once again, Cybola Burn. That's how I'm gonna say it from now on. And Republic of Thieves and Red Seas and Red Skies. There we go. Thank you, Dalton. Thank you, Hillary. And more books to come from Book Depository. And then you know holidays are coming up. I'm probably gonna buy a lot more books, so. More book hauls coming at you. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Good night.